this man. All right, YouTube. Got that package in today. Been waiting on it. Ordered it through my homeboys up there in Chicago. They got me together with the Dakota Digital Joints. Ready to pop this box open and see what we got. All right, y'all. As y'all already saw, UPS man dropped off a little package. Today, just open the big box up, and I'm finna get ready. Open this joint, check it out. Uh, get it wired up a little bit. Make sure it's the right colors. Um, I wanted the black background, but I wanted my LEDs, the you know the numbers on the back lighting to light up white with the red needles. Yeah, let me get this thing opened up. All right, y'all. Got it opened up. Come with the the gauge unit, the brain instructions that I read through a little bit. Um, also come with this different harnesses, which um, clips into the different sending units that come with the kit. So that's pretty cool. I already come, you know, pretty much wired. Just clip it in and roll out. Install it in the engine and keep it moving. Also, if you got an LS engine, it come with all the uh, different bushings you would need. So you don't have to um, drill and tap no different ports or holes on your um, existing in on your engine. So come with all that stuff. That's the good thing about it. Make it easy for you. Cinder pack. So there's different harnesses. And this has got the temperature, speed sensor, two little push buttons for, you know, switching the, um, the display, you know, from trip to, you know, whatever you want to display on the little message center. Two little spaces right there. Whatever you want to display down there. That's how you, um, the little momentary buttons. You know, the water sensor. Oil pressure. All that good stuff. So, yeah, let me get this thing wired up and see what it do. They make it easy for you. Uh, you Once you get all your little sensors and all that stuff connected to the, uh, to the little brain of the system, you just run this wire here. Just clips into the back of the gadgets. This other piece right here, just clip into the brain box, and you're done. So it's not, don't look real complicated. All right, y'all. I got them wired up and powered on, and as you can see, they sent me the wrong uh, gauges. They sent me the all red setup when I asked for the unit where everything was white the display panels the readings of the fuel tag everything was white except the needles the needles would be red like they are on this one but everything else white i didn't want all red i could have did all blue since i'm going blue with the car but i wanted something different and something that looked more factory like the uh the gauges that came in the car in the car i believe they was white with the red needle so that's the look I wanted to keep. Unfortunately, they sent me the wrong dang on um, unit, so uh, I'll be sending these back. And hopefully they give me the right one on the next go around. All right, y'all, I'm back. Just to get off the phone with who I ordered the gauges through. And you know, they got in contact with uh, Dakota Digital about the mix up. And for the ones I want, they looking at a six to eight week build time. So um, I got another unit that I have my eyes on. Hopefully they have that one in stock. If not, we'll be waiting six to eight on six to eight weeks on another update as far as the gauge is so. Um, you know, y'all just stay tuned on the channel for more updates on the car. 
Let me know what you think about the other videos, this video, whatever. Good boy, check it out.